Hi guys, um, welcome back to Jess Kitchen. Now I've got my vegetable soup all ready and waiting to be cooked. So now I start with the protein. So with the crispy fried chicken, I'm doing gluten free. Uh, you can use non gluten free, it's fine. So in the supermarket, I bought a kikoman tamari a Japanese uh, soy sauce, which is gluten free. And I'm also using a potato starch, which is gluten free. And um, I've got ginger. And I use about two or three cloves of garlic. I will grate them soon. Okay, so, and obviously I'm using chicken. I'm using chicken tenderloins. You can use chicken thighs as well or chicken breast, it doesn't matter. I'm using the chicken tenderloins today. In, while I'm preparing this, I've already started to heat up the oil so by the time it's all ready I can just uh, put it in the frying pan to start cooking it okay so now I start grating the ginger okay. and I add in some garlic grate the garlic as well just love the smell of the garlic and the ginger Okay, so the garlic and ginger is finely grated now and I'm using potato starch. Now with the flour, you can use any gluten-free plain flour or cornstarch, doesn't matter. But because I like it to be crunchier, I hear that from some of my friends saying that potato starch, it makes it crunchier. Okay, so what I'll do now, I'm just going to Add some of the tamari kikoman sauce. Maybe about two or three tablespoons of the tamari sauce, guys. And I'm also going to add some of the white pepper. Okay. Okay. Maybe about one teaspoon. Alright, now I'm going to mix it with the chicken. Gonna add all the chicken in there. Okay, I'm just gonna add. Oh, smells so good. Okay. Just gonna dip it here. Now with this recipe, because I love fried chicken, my son loves fried chicken, I sort of like create my own version of crispy fried chicken. I watch a lot of Master Chef, My Kitchen Rules, watching them how to make the chicken crispy. So I thought I'll give it a go tonight. <laughs> Alright, looks like it's already coated with all the potato starch flour. I'm just going to put it in the pan now. Oh, sound. Listen to that grizzling sound. So when I'm eating the vegetable soup, I like to eat with some protein. Um, this is why I'm making this fried chicken. With the vegetable soup, it's my... Uh, girlfriend's parents recipe they like to cook it in Indonesia now with the pan guys don't make it too full because then it won't fry it properly so try to make a room so that the chicken can move around I'm just gonna uh, put the heat a little bit to um, S slow not too high yeah so slow to medium the heat so 
So now I'm going to make it slower the heat so that the chicken can cook through. Nothing worse by uh, cooking a crispy fried chicken when the inside is still raw. Yeah. So make it slow now so that it can cook thoroughly the chicken inside. Guys, I've already cooked the chicken and I let it sit for a few seconds and make sure the oil is reheat uh, to a correct temperature and I decided to refry them again so that the batter will get crunchier. Okay, it looks like the crispy fried chicken is ready to cook. I'm just gonna taste it now. Mmm. Sorry. <laughs> really nice and crunch. Now, um, please follow Jazz Kitchen on the quick and easy recipe for the crispy fried chicken. And if you enjoy the video, please press like. Thank you. Bye, guys.